Greetings, programs. My name is Wretch, and I'd like to welcome you to Broken Age. So, um, this is a game that actually passed me by when it first came out in 2014. I actually didn't really know um, that this game existed until a few weeks ago when my friend Liquid gifted me it on Steam. And I was just like, alright. Looked it over, and I was like, holy crap, it's a Double Fine game. I love Double Fine games. Um, Tim Schafer, in terms of like point and click adventure games, you've got Grim Fandango, um, Day of the Tentacle, Full Throttle, like so many amazing games. And this one also has the voice talents of like Elijah Wood and Jack Black. And I don't know how it passed me by, but we are going to catch up with this series. And I hope you all will go ahead and join me for it. Let's go ahead and get a new game. I actually don't know anything about this game. I've kept myself in the dark purposely after finding out that it was a double fine game. So, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just dive in here. So one seems to live in a futuristic setting, and the other character seems more, I guess, modern day, or at least more natural. Is this where we choose our character? Who should we choose, if that's even an option? Here, I'll let fate decide. Um, evens, her, odds, him. Got a d20 right here. All right, I rolled a five. Ugh. Hey, rise and shine, son. You better get up. I'm almost off duty. Your mom's gonna be here soon, and you know how she is. Hey, recurrent. Hey, everyone. Here she comes. Have a great day, Shane. There's my little angel. Oh, computer, snooze. No more snoozies for my little spaceman this morning. Oh, I hope no bad tinkle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. Oh, computer, off. Come on and get up, Shane. Lots of important adventures to go on today. Get up now, Mr. Man, or I'll turn on the mean sound. Okay, you asked for it. That's not a bad alarm. It could be worse. What a good boy. Okay, let's clean up that dirty little body. Hey, easy, computer. Oh, quit being so shy. I used to change your diaper. This is kind of like a bubble boy situation. Choco rockets. Um I would like some Choco Rockets. Sure. What difference does it make? Good morning, Commander Shea. It is my honor to be your training spoon today. Good Lord. Wait to start mission nutrition. All right, give me one sec. I want to see if the... Okay, everything's up to full. So just pick me up and we'll start filling you up with space fuel. Yes! You won't be sorry, Commander. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. Okay. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am.
stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. Once more ah. the Milky Breach. Okay, got to uh, click and drag. It's happening. It's really happening. Now, sir, I don't just serve food. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you? Uh-oh. Uh, Commander? Aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No? Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? Okay, computer. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me Mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, computer. Okay, Captain Sweet. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galactica. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a Mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, sweet, uh, Captain? Um... I think we should focus on the... probably the most immediate threat. Better suit up and investigate that foreign body. Ooh, I don't like you going out there. Let's use the safety suit. Ah, oh, come on. Everything looks like a toy. Wonder how long he's been on this ship. He's even got a scarf on. He's like that kid in Christmas Story who sticks his tongue on the pole. With mag boots. Okay, I'm outside the ship. The foreign body must be very close by. I would say that is the foreign body. What do y'all think? Call me crazy. I found the object. It appears to be something organic in nature. Something's telling me I should stick my face right into it. <laughs> Get off of me! Get off! Got a special nutrition paste for you today. Space meat in a blanket. <laughs> Ready for your next exciting space mission, honey? We've got an avalanche, a runaway train, a spaceship under attack, and a mysterious object on the hull. But we already did that. It, it, I th these all seem like they're prearranged, maybe. Let's, um... We have to defend the friendship circle. Oh, I just don't know who would attack those poor defenseless cuties. To the teleporter room. By the way, if I was a kid and had like spaceship controls, that'd be incredible. I'm aboard the distressed vessel Friendship Circle. I found one of the crew. Aw. Fake controls. What a surprise. What happened here? From an enemy vessel? Or an alien creature? Or did you attack yourselves in a fit of space madness? Yes. going to love this dinner pill. Broccoli! Or else. <sighs> what mission should we go on next, sweetie?
Let's catch that runaway train. Aye, aye, Captain Sweetie. To System 7. I was going to click it, and it didn't give me a chance. Hey, ticket to ride! Thanks for keeping it safe. So it looks like this computer is just trying its best. Commander, sweetie. Tomorrow's another day. Come on, Sleeping Beauty. Hey, who wants breakfast? Chocolate Rockets? Yikes, no way. Simmons. Okay. <sighs> Why not? We want some variety with our breakfast cereal. Your saliva has a 0.001 pH imbalance today. May I suggest more whole grain nutrient paste? What mission should we go on next, sweetie? You know what? What I think we're going to do is we're going to check the avalanche victims and then I'm going to go to the fake train wreck and I'm not going to say anything. And see if the computer just goes ahead and saves me. Yeah, it's like we're in Groundhog Day. By the way, guys, does the webcam look all right? If I need to change anything, let me know. We need to help those avalanche victims. I knew you'd want to help them, sweetie. Flying a course for Planet Galactica. This is the massive avalanche? It's worse than it looks! Really? How? It's the ice cream avalanche! Yay! That's not worse. Help! Hey, check this out. Why not check out us avalanche victims over here? Okay. Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay. <laughs> Make like a train and choo choo choo. That is a lot of ice cream, though. Got a special nutrition paste for you today. Brown. Do you want brown saucing or brown lumps and gray sauce or gray lumps and brown sauce? What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Ugh, I gotta get out of this routine. Fake train wreck, please. I knew you'd choo choo choose that one to System 7. Here we go. We're gonna crash into Spike Canyon! <laughs> Why 
What's that, son? Did you say wake up the bridge man? That's such a good idea. <sighs> You can let go now. I got this. I'm not letting go until that bridge is down. I'm losing my grip. <laughs> I can't hang on for much longer. Oh. Uh huh. I got this. I'm not letting go until that bridge is down. <laughs> I'm going to have to let go in a second. I don't know how long I can hold on to this. If only there were a gotcha. genius on the train. I don't think I should open that here. Wake up, bridge man. Great. Now don't do anything else. I'm going to let go. Back to sleep, bridge man. What are you doing? Ah! Shane! What were you thinking? You could have saved us so easily! I'm sure he had us be Having fun? Huh? Who are you? When you tire of child's play, when you're ready for real danger, come see me. But... Tell no one. Do you understand? Okay. But... No one. Hey! Wait! What? Whoops! No discussion about it, young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. <laughs> delayed fracture. It can't. <laughs> All missions are cancelled. I love you. I can do whatever? Just some break in the routine. Health stats 100% normal, as always. Maybe I'm the robot. Why do computers need sleep? Can't sleep. On a mission. From Gad. Come on. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh, look. It's another Grab and Gary robot. Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean, my collection. How bizarre. Missions canceled until further notice. <laughs> Whoops. It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, right. Like we have those. Hmm. The air vent is screwed shut with these weird little screws. Oh, hey. It works. Hmm. What we got here? What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. It's locked. What a dirty trick. Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? What am I? Your prisoner? Just until I'm sure you're safe. 
You have no idea how important you are, Shay. <sighs> Okay, we're going to try this again. She says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. Either way, it's dead now. I took away its food source. Come on, Grabbin' Gary. Be more fun. You can do it. Can't you do anything except grab stuff? <sighs> I like grabbing Gary. It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, right. Like we have those. Hey, liquid. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa. It looks like a blow up doll. Oh, of Lord. Me. Creepy. Ew. It's like airplane. Hopefully, this looks enough like me to fool the warden. Now, is this going to go ahead and get us our pathway out of here? Come on, Grabbin' Gary. Be more fun. You can do it. Can't you do anything except grab stuff? <sighs> I'm wondering, though. Wait. Can we go down? Ah. Where's my little angel? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. Sleep tight, little hero. Man, computers are stupid. He may be regretting this later. What's that quote? Whoa. How have I never seen this part of the ship before? You came because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between, between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who? Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny and may soon be executed. But... Yes? We... We have to save them. Yes. Yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cop, we don't have much time. It's one of those things uh, that quote, like you wish that you could realize the good that you were in the middle of the good old days. Okay, we got the vent here. We've got our wolf companion. Those poor creatures. They're counting on you, young cub.
Time to save some helpless creatures. Do not touch those until I tell you that it's time. Ooh. I apologize. It's just that I build them myself and I'm a little protective. Figured that. I assume that leads back to our room. Excuse me, Merrick, what are you doing? There's no time to waste. Take that vent to the navigation room and give that star chart to the Space Weaver right now. I just want to know why there's a wolf on this ship. This door is locked. This is a stealth mission. Not safe to use the hallways, understand? Has come to play with the Space Weaver. Where shall we go today, Wise Commander? Oh man, a real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. <laughs> hey, Space Weaver, let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires. As long as it is safe and free of conflict. Ah. Bring me a star chart, and the fabric of time and space shall be knit to serve your passage. Where are we? The same place as always, the center of the universe. Really? Wherever the young master is, that is the center of our universe. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. Oh, we can go... What? So we're going back and forth, like in Day of the Tentacle. Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. I like cupcakes. Oh, she used the full name. Ah, sugar bunting, where the sweetness is baked right in. Very pretty. There you are. I was getting worried. Worried that I chickened out? No! I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right! Wait, I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm going to beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on! Oh, sir. Sir, nickname Pokey. Shut up, you guys. She's coming. Hello? Shh. Another surprise party, <laughs> maybe? Surprise! surprise! Whoa. Yay! There is my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. <sighs> Let's look for the ceremonial knife. Or actually, let's go meet the family here. Know where Mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now! Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. Lavina? What is it, girl? 
<laughs> she is very impatient. Any idea where mom's knife is? We're late! If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullets, and had us out the door already! Oh! Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Weren't you paying attention in Maiden training? How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey! Are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell. What is Mog Chathra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me! <laughs> You just want to live long enough to be distinguished. How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. Where do creatures like Mog Chathra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. I want to go beyond the Plague Dam someday. It's forbidden! But maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chathra's stomach. Oh god, so it's like the lottery? Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. Mog Chathra attacks other towns? Of course! Maryloft just had their maidens feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. Uh, they're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay, I think I know all I need to know about the Maiden's Feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. So, why don't we just fight Mog Chathra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. How dare you! If you destroy the feast, Mog Chathra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. Bless her soul. Not all of the town elders have stayed as hip and with it as I have. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. Well, can't... Can't we just have um, the monster fill up on bread? Nowhere. I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? Nope, not there. Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> ah, the monster's on keto. Gotcha. Do you know where Mom's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help with this shame feast. Shame. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl! Stand up for yourself! I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brommel. <laughs> Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. Why'd we stop being warriors? Levina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed pushed for appeasement. So we went soft. Became a town of bakers. Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, um, yes. <laughs> I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. Question your elders. Where would I... Okay, so I assume it's over there near him. And then... I think that's supposed to look like Mog Chathra, my handsome date to the prom. 
It's like a great old one. Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna fight it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> Pie. Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head, that woman. Uh, why not? Did I leave it in the kitchen? If oh. there was a day to splurge, it's today. I'm too nervous to eat. Definitely He's sitting on it, maybe. For me? For you, Grandpa. Don't mind if I do. Oh, where is that darn knife? Grandpa Beastender? Huh? I'd better go find that knife. <laughs> we don't want to like overload the the old man on sugar. This stupid knife is ruining my daughter's special day. Is there anything else here? Think. All right, let's just grab another one. We'll split it. Mom and Dad will be hurt if there are any left over. It's just got to be. Grandpa Beastender? Huh? Oh. Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? <laughs> yes. I'd better go find that knife. <laughs> if there was a day to splurge, it's... For me? Split it with you? Deal. On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? Uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. Bless your heart. It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. Sacrifice. All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time? Honey, why don't we just kill Mog Chothra? <laughs> <laughs> here, here! <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. Jesus. Majestic to behold. Awe-inspiring. Powerful. Mysterious. But Mog Chothra is more than that. Merciful and generous, Mog Chopra keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Please come, Mog Chopra, and make your selections. Welcome to the Maiden's Feast. Can't we just sacrifice the old lady? I know she'll pick you. Maybe the monster doesn't like jerky. Make myself the center of any room I'm in. Center of mass, maybe. No more ugliness, girls. Mog Chothra responds to beauty above. Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mog Chothra hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, buzzard! I will fuck you alive if you come near my food again! Ah, okay. Gotcha. How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm. Sounds good, but not half as satisfying as this drumstick. Never mind. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. 
No more ugliness, girls. More hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chofra with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. It's like Final Fantasy X. Nothing without a little heat. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. Hey, Bluebird, can I get a lift out of here? Hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate. Regardless, I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No, I give my life. No, me! Sheesh. Oh, God. Hear him. Look, there he is. It's like Yogg-Saron. something for a bite of that drumstick? What do you got? How about the slimming corset? I wouldn't want to hide my best assets from Mom Chop. He'll be looking for a full-size meal after his long trip. Never mind. Oh! Just wanted to say good luck. Bye! One of my okay, mom's special dish don't need it. A little water isn't gonna kill me. Need a towel? Uh, I always open the bottle carefully, <laughs> so no. But he's obviously made his decision. Come here, little birdie. I have a treat for you. It's nice to be armed, but I don't think I could hit her from here. Too skinny. Need a utensil to eat that? No thanks. I feel silverware detracts from the hand feel of food. Oh, Lord. What is my mom's special dish towel? Don't need it. A little water isn't going to kill me. Can I borrow that bottle one more time? Keep it. Thanks. I don't need it where I'm going. This is stressful. to explode how about something bubbly to wash it down well thanks 
Don't mind if I... Ah! Look at me! I'm soaked! Oh, God. Okay. Quick! Quick! Help me put myself back together! Uh, I've got a towel here if you throw me that drumstick. You have a towel? Why didn't you say so? standing there. Are you part vulture or something? Here, birdie. Oh, come on. So close. Oh. How can you think I could cut myself out of this dress? But without that bird, I've got no ride out of here. Clap those big blue wings. Just a little bit harder. It's nice to be armed, but I would I'm nervous, but not suicidal. Hey, how about we split this cupcake? You can have the bottom half. Get back here, you crazy brat! That's my girl! She's doomed us all! Mog Chocolate's fury will soon rain down upon our village! Keep your phalanges to yourself. She's doomed us all! Achievement unlocked. So whimsical. <laughs> Love that wily coyote. Hello, bird. My egg. Dad, look! Jesse brought back a girl with him. Ooh, a new recruit. Time for your old man to become Mr. Smooth. Oh, God. Okay. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? Converting Star Chart. <laughs> Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calibers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five, four, three, two, one. By the arms, we have arrived. Cool. If I give the Space Weaver a star chart, he'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf. If I give the Space Weaver a star chart, he'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf.
Hey, Space Weaver, let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master. Okay, we already saw that. It does look like a talon. Well, we're here. We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cub. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. <laughs> this is worse than I thought. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. But... What can I do? Here, take these controls. You need to lower the shields so the boom arms can be extended. Go on, lower the shield. Good. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned above the subject, then press this to engage the grappling seat. I got it! Great work, Shay. Now the boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine for their own protection. And our Shay's getting played. Our diseases might kill them. You are wise for such a young cub. Now we must save more quickly before their captors return. Use the movement controls to position the ship. Go on, move the ship. Careful. Got another one. Great. Now just place it in the cargo hold and... Oh no. What is it? Hostile forces have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. No! You didn't tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. You want to be a grown-up? Get used to making tough decisions. Damn. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from Danger System 5. Are you up to it? Shay, are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Give me the star chart. This is the star chart for Danger System 5. That's pretty crazy. Can we actually go back into the room? Yes, we can. Our little guy is still holding firm. Time to save some helpless creatures. Do not touch those until I tell you that it's time. What is I apologize. He's got security cameras everywhere. Them only for your protection. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I expect good writing in a double fine game. For sure. I wonder what his deal is, though. This is the star chart for Danger System 5. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? That is an easy one for the Space Weaver. Da -da -da -da. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Looks like the Space Intake Weaver has encoded the star chart into a graph of nits and Weave pearls. thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five, four, three. So we're gonna have some time where we can inter we can interrupt this or affect it in some way. This looks like the place. 
I hear there are only four systems more dangerous. Thing about um, Elijah Wood is he always grabs these kind of quirky projects like um, the movie Nine. If okay. you've ever seen it, we should be oh. in Danger System Five. Are we ever? Take a look at this. Or over the garden wall. Careful. Excellent. Securing subject in cargo. Don't worry. She won't detect our moving the ship. I've covered our tracks very well. I don't know who she is. Wait for it. Good. But hurry, we're running out of time. Don't wait forever, though. Okay, that's enough. What do you mean, that's enough? I mean, enemy ships are approaching. Uh -huh. See anything? I need to save this last one. You're going to endanger the whole mission to save one creature? Yes. Just give me a second. This is a waste of time. There is no need for this. Oh no! Rats. Okay, I got it. But something's wrong. Cut it loose. We need to retreat before... Attention. Ship is under attack. What happened? Probably one of the enemy vessels I warned you about, remember? We need to get that last creature. Too late. The ship is retreating under autopilot to a safe location. And we're completely locked out of the controls. How are we going to perform any more rescues? We'll have to find another way to hack into the boom arm controls. And another way to bring the shields down at the right time. And who knows if we'll be able to navigate to the right system now that the ship's on high alert. The ship's computer must be freaking out right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> As soon as the alarm sounded, the first thing she probably did was check on you and your... Yep. Everything's fine. Shay! Shay! Are you hurt? Oh, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, sweetie. Um, something attacked the ship, but Mommy's taking care of it. Nothing to worry about, okay? Oh, that the moon was suspicious, though. The moon was sus. So brave. Whew. Better get back to Merrick to hear his plan. Okay. I've tried throwing a towel over that thing, but she always pulls it off. Yeah, look at him there. Health stats 100% normal, as always. Maybe I'm the robot. Ship under attack. Everything's fine. Well, you're half right. Young cop. You must come see me right away. Another distress signal has arrived. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> 